Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. It is a tragedy. Those bugs have come in. I still got the tomatoes. I need to pick them. But there's tomatoes back there. The bugs are destroying everything. The spider mites. I did find one spray bottle. Look, I still got new growth. So that lets me know. Some of this could be trimmed down. Look at the webbing on there. It is just a, a massacre. So leaves are dying on just about every plant. And it's gotten to the point, isn't that beautiful? The debaceous earth is in the spray bottle. And that's spotted everything. So they're not getting the proper sunlight. I might be able to look at the webbing on here. Nice place to put an arrow, right? <laughs> Holds the plant up. So, watch the leaves fall off. That's a berry. That is a goji berry. That is a superfood, just like a blueberry. And it's not doing so hot. And this one, too. All the leaves are spotted from the diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth. These are the bottles I got at eBay. They're all broken. They can't hold up. Here's the one that I did find somewhere in the house. It's called Rainmaker. This is doing a beautiful job. So if you can find that, probably on eBay is where I buy everything. That is a beautiful bottle. I don't put as much diatomaceous earth in as I did those. The spring loaded ordeal does not work so well. Same with these other spray bottles you get. So, everything's dying. Everything's falling apart. And the celery was doing so good. It was so vibrant in color. And you can see the web is just awful. So the, the, the plants are turning white, so we don't know how much sunlight they're really getting. And, uh, well, I don't know. I just keep spraying and spraying and spraying. Uh, there's been a few droughts in here because I really don't want to come in here. It's not a happy feeling right now. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Just let it go? I mean, we got peppers coming in, and good tomatoes. That kale back there is doing so good. This was doing amazing. It was, I don't know. It's crazy. So, one of these days I gotta come in here. I just really like the colors of these these peppers. That one is amazing. I love that. So, look at the Swiss chard. The bugs attacked everything but that. And then, now they're in there. But, the coffee beans are doing so good still but now we can see it's a little dry still moist in the dirt but I will get in here I'll water more often the only answer to all of this madness is wait one there it is river ponics grow system if you want to get into aquaponics Go to River Ponics Grow Systems, and he will teach you how it all works. He gave me these two river channels. I just, I'm going to have to get more equipment for the stones and get rid of the dirt eventually. So now I'm in a department where I do not get overtime. So there's an occasional seems like every two weeks that I go home a day, half a day early or an hour early. So the paycheck is not as vibrant, but I'm going to keep doing awesome stuff. I'm still planning. It would be so cool to get rid of the dirt altogether. I'll have to get a wicking system to come up through that hole and then up into a pot of rocks. So pretty much got a good game plan for the for uh, river ponics 
I just got to get it set in motion and figure out how I'm going to fit it in there into that room and save those plants. Now to, to rinse the roots and get, a, get the dirt off there and get rid of the, all the bugs, I don't know where I'm going to do that at. I don't have a wash tub in the basement and I cannot have all that dirt going down the drain. That'll be another brainstorming adventure down the road. And you have a beautiful indoor garden day.